Hello, my lovely duckies, and this is Caster, and welcome to the Boneyard. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I just got done finished watching ReZero Episode 2 of Season 2. Oh, it was a good one this week. Okay, so... Uh, if you haven't watched it yet, do not watch this, because I will be spoiling a shit ton of stuff for you. And, oh, there's a lot of spoilers, so... Go ahead and watch the episode, get caught up, and then come on back. And then like and subscribe and comment and tell me what you thought about the episode. We'll have a little dialogue, ducky. So, let's see here. How, how did the episode go? Well, uh, you know, it starts out. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we have uh, Subaru and Amelia uh, pretty much uh, parting ways for a little bit from uh, Krush and Felix, you know. And uh, they part their ways, and because uh, Amelia and Subaru are going to head on back to the the mansion, and uh, of course they're taking Rim with her, and uh, Otto the driver is coming. <laughs> if, you remember, if you remember him, he, you know the the one with the green hat. Uh, so, anyways, they go back to the mansion, and they have you know there's a lot of dialogue between there, you know him and Amelia, you know a little bit of a uh, character development between the two, you know. So they get back to the uh, the mansion and, and, and no one's home, you know. Um, they, they, well, they go back to the village uh, that's on the outskirts of uh, of the territory of Ro Rosewall's uh, territory there, and and you know no one's there to greet them. So they they say, okay, we'll set up the mansion, and, and no one's there. Um. So, uh, but there is there is somebody there to to meet them, and uh, we get a brand new maid. Oh, yeah, we get, uh, Frederica. Oh, yeah, and right from the start, you can tell, you like, uh... <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I knew something was up when she had those sharp teeth. But, um, Zero makes a joke and gets hit over the head. But, uh, so we find out that Frederica was, uh, uh the maid that, that was there, and she left for personal reasons to come. Basically, she took a leave of absence, and then she came back. Because Ram said uh, she can't take care of the uh, the mansion by herself, and I assume uh, uh, Ram, Ram is where uh, she's with Rosewall. I, I assume, you know. So, uh, but but Frederica, uh, you know, she again she wonders who who this uh, Rim is, uh, who who looks a lot like Ram, and you know, and tells her, you know, hey, you, you don't remember, her, do you? Uh, I like how he doesn't really explain what's going on. He just says, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you probably were good friends. <laughs> Which probably confuses the hell out of her. Uh, you know, says that she's Ram's uh, younger sister. And, uh... So they're like, okay, well maybe we should uh, get some information on where everyone's at. Uh, apparently Rosewall went to a place uh, called the Sanctuary. And, uh... It's pretty much, like... Uh, what I assumed to, to get a plan on how to deal with the witch's cult. So, um, anyways, they, uh, he decides to go and talk to Beatrice. Since, uh, Beatrice knows pretty much, you know, she don't leave the mansion, so she's there. Uh, but she pretty much knows how Rosewall thinks. And, um, so Subaru goes and finds her, and they have a little, you know, uh, Back and forth between each other, you know. They have like a little. This they have this little love hate relationship. A little more hate than love. <laughs> and um, they say that you know they 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 beat the uh, the sin archbishop, and he brings her his uh, his gospel. And this is where things start getting interesting. She. First of all, she's shocked that he even has that. She's like, you know, how how would you even get that? And he says, you know, I I defeated him. And so she 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 says something along the lines of like, now now you've left me alone too, haven't you, geese? Which I guess short for pedal, uh, short for uh, you know, uh, pedal geese. So there we have, uh, you know, pretty much a. Uh, Pretty much right there, it says, you know, that they have a, uh, or evidence that they have, or not evidence, but proof. Excuse me, let me get it out. They have, uh, proof that, uh, 
that they know each other for some reason. You know, this is weird. So what, like, you know, because Pedoki just kind of, kind of just came out of nowhere, and it's like, well, uh, what, what relationship does she have with this Archbishop of, uh, of the Witch's Cult? You know, it's like, man, the the, the plot thickens. So, um, she she gets upset. So apparently, like, you know, maybe they were like brother and sister, maybe they were lovers, good friends. I don't know. You know, but, it, but she's definitely upset that he's dead. Um, I mean, I say good rinse because he was a psychopath. <laughs> uh, but, uh, so she tells him that, um, all the answers that he seeks are at the sanctuary with Oswald. And, um, so anyways, uh, so they, so she kicks him out. You know, she's pissed off. You know, she actually tears up over this. So it's, 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 you know, we're trying to figure out, like, what the hell's going on. So, uh, more and more mystery. And then, uh, so then they start to prepare. And she says that, uh, well, she tells, Beatrice tells Subaru that uh, Frederica uh, pretty much knows how to get there. So they discuss it. And uh, she says, yeah, she knows how to get there. And, um. But she's not going with him. Uh, Otto knows how to go, and uh, he he's he's along for the trip basically to get some uh, some props. You know, he he need, he has business with Roswell. You know, <laughs> trying to get in good. You know, and um, so anyways, you know they uh, they they go on their trip, and she says she can't go with them. And apparently, Federica is a half beast. I, I forgot to mention that. So, you know, I, I, I guess that explains why her teeth are so sharp. Uh, I guess she's like one of these demi-humans they talk about. So, uh, so they leave Rem and they, uh, tell, you know, to tell her to take care of her. Oh, and, uh, Petra, the little girl from the, uh, from the village, she, uh, apparently she was hired on also to be a maid. And she, she looks absolutely adorable in the maid's outfit, you know. Uh... <laughs> yeah, she's, she's, she's so cute. Uh, I thought she was actually a lot younger. She says she's twelve, so I was just like, man, I thought she was like, like eight or nine. You know, I was like, wow. But um, uh, you can't tell with these anime, uh, <laughs> with anime girls. You got to check the ID on these girls. You know, you you see a girl and you're like, man, she's hot, and come to find out, she's like two years old. You're like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute, you you look like a full grown woman. <laughs> and then the police are at your door, you know. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, uh, so they they take a trip, and she gives uh, Frederica gives uh, Amelia a uh, pendant that will get them through the woods to get to sanctuary because it's kind of like a Legend of Zelda Lost Woods kind of thing, you know. And so, you know, uh, they're they're in the in the uh, the carriage on the way there, and. You know, they're talking and have a few words about, you know, what they should uh, do, do. And and Frederica tells them uh, that there's this guy there by the name of uh, Garfell. I thought they said Garfield, but it's Garfell without the D. Uh, they need to watch out for him, okay? He's going to be with Rose Walton. So I don't know if he's, a, if he's just an asshole or if he's got ulterior motives or he's a bad guy or something. I don't know, but... They said, watch out for him. So, he might be a shady dude. So, anyways, they, they go through the, the, uh, they go through the forest, and, and, um, it's kind of eerily creepy, you know. And, uh, all of a sudden, her pendant that she was wearing that Frederica gave her starts to glow, and Subaru, for some reason, I thought it was like, okay, well, it's activating, you know, it's like letting us through where we need to get to. But Subaru has a different idea. So what he does is he goes and uh, he, he rips it off of Amelia's neck. And he's like, here, let me get that from you, you know. And then all of a sudden there's a blinding light. And when everything kind of calms down, he's he's in the middle of the woods. Everyone's gone. Like, where where did everybody go? And uh, this uh, this uh, elf girl shows up with, with, like, pink hair. And he's like, hey, you know, who are you? Are you, are you an elf? You know, what's going on? So she runs away. And Subaru gives chase, and he gives chase to these, like, moss-covered ruins. And, 
you know, he's like, hey, is this this sanctuary? You know, he starts yelling out to, you know, whoever is could listen to him. He says, hey, is this sanctuary? Who's there? I don't want to talk to somebody. And he starts going upstairs, and I, I can't, I don't know if he goes inside or, or if, he, if he almost gets inside, but here's a voice talk to him. And uh, uh, I forget what she said, what, what the voice says, it's a female. But uh, he gets uh, transported to like a field. And uh, it's kind of like from the trailer, you know. Uh, he's on like a field and there's a little hill and he looks up the hill and there's this chick sitting at a table with an umbrella. And uh, yeah, she, she's been waiting for him. And she introduces herself as the witch of greed holy shit and then and then and then and then the and then the music plays and then we get we finally get the intro to the show and i was like oh my god talk about going i i, I didn't realize that the show had been going on that long because when, when that happened i was like oh my god it's over i was like oh man what what the hell of a cliffhanger so i mean oh so we're left with uh, several questions, you know. Uh, one, I've never really trusted Rosewall. He he seems to have some kind of shady stuff uh, going on the back burner. Uh, you know, I, I've never really fully trusted him. He seems like he's got a lot of secrets. Uh, he may not necessarily be a bad person, but I don't know. There's something that, that he, he rubs me the wrong way. Uh, he's very enigmatic. Um, and then we have the, like, you know, um, like who this Garfield character is, like, who's that guy? And then like, like, are it, like, it didn't say if they're at the sanctuary, you know, so it's like, what does this, if this is the sanctuary that they're supposed to be at, what does this have to do with Rosewall? Uh, what does that do with the, I mean, everything is just jumbled up. I'm like, what, what is going on here? So uh, I have, I have no idea and I can't wait till the next episode. I mean, there's so many, so many answers in the last, like, you know, two minutes of the show gets brought up. I'm just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. So the question is like, what, what is Rosewall's, uh, if this is sanctuary, then what is Rosewall's connection to the witches called? Uh, why is the witch of greed there? Uh, what is the witch's cult, really? You know, if we could figure it out. I mean, obviously, they're worshiping witches, but we thought, that we, you know, the one that we are, uh, the one that we are uh, following, I thought, was, the other was just one, which was the Witch of Envy. And now this is the Witch of Greed, so I, I guess there's like, uh, there's six, uh, set, or, yeah, I can't count. So I guess there's five more, you know, like Lust and, uh, Pride and wrath and all that, you know, seven deadly sins. So, uh, I mean, is each, is each archbishop uh, connected to a witch, you know? So, oh man, it was, it was so good. I, I I just oh oh man, I I can't wait till next week. Oh man, and I'm I'm glad to be doing these videos with you, duckies. So. Um, you know, let's keep the conversation going. So, uh, you know, like and subscribe and, you know, leave a comment down below and let, let's talk about it, you know. Uh, I'm glad to actually get these videos out on Wednesday. So uh, the next video will be out, you know, next next Wednesday and I'll have more videos coming up. And I think uh, I'm, I'm going to have a, uh, try to make some kind of buyer's guide for uh, retro gaming pretty soon I was uh I was thinking of videos to do for you all and that could be a pretty good one and um of course we'll have a an eBay mail day roundup you know th things that I've gotten recently off of eBay and we'll 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 check that out They're kind of a show and tell but uh so anyways duckies uh, I just I just really wanted to uh wanted to uh, get this out, video out to you all and we'll, we'll have a discussion on what's going on and oh man I can't wait to do this every week with you all all right duckies um you know the drill like and subscribe and comment and I will see you next time in the boneyard 
Stay safe and be good to each other.